You were looking at the telly for us, and in particular, a documentary on Tina Turner. Yeah, I decided to check this out because I wanted to see it, and it uh, is on Sky Documentaries, and it is two hours long, pretty much, and it's absolutely brilliant. I mean, I think everybody knows Tina Turner, and everybody loves Tina Turner. She's Iconic. Been, like, I think it's six decades length of a career, and this was just a lovely documentary. It reminded us of how brilliant she was on stage. She, yeah, she was on stage. She hasn't performed for ages now. She's eighty-one or something Um, and how we were reminded as well of the circumstances under which she brought us those performances that weren't known at the time Mm. um, and that uh, her husband Ike Turner was so abusive and she talks quite openly about that um, that whole period in her life and it's just it's it's a lovely documentary I think you've a clip of it there Well I tell you we have a little clip so let's take a listen to this and it's a little longer extended clip than we normally would take for the simple reason that it is very interesting so have a listen Look what I have done in this lifetime with this body. I'm a girl from a cotton field that pulled myself above what was not taught to me. The fantastic Ike and Tina Turner review! It was Ike's band. But Tina was the shining star. When I saw her dance, she was all I could look at. He rehearsed constantly. And then the pressure came that we had to work more to try to get a hit. And I was afraid. I had an abusive life. There's no other way to tell the story. Buddhism was a way out. I started really seeing that I had to make a change. The divorce, I got nothing. No money, no house. So I said, I'll just take my name. And then we were trying to get a record deal. Nobody would touch Tina Turner. She'd play anywhere just to make the money to get by. My dream is to be the first black rock and roll singer to pack places like the Stones. When she became successful, the past came up. Her story reached so many people who felt like they had to keep their secrets locked away deep down. It's hard. One of the worst parts of your life has been an inspiration. The worst parts of your life have been an inspiration, and certainly that. You know, I remember the early days of um, MTV USA when it first hit Ireland here on uh, Sunday afternoon, seeing this amazing woman, Tina Turner. The energy she brings to oh, her incredible! I think she was. If incredible. you've seen the film uh, with Angela Bassett, "What's Love Got to Do with It," you know what she went through, um, and the abuse that she got, and the the circumstances under which she was bringing people those performances. The energy of her early on stage performances, mm. the voice that she has that powerhouse of a voice that she just like she just goes into another world and in herself like she's you know she just becomes a different person when she's on stage it's obviously it's where she absolutely loved to be and she gave an interview where she just mentioned the what went on in her um in her marriage to Ike Turner and as she says she was never able to put that behind her like everybody was always asking her about Ike, Ike, Ike the whole time and it really started to kind of get in her nerves uh, that that's all she was being asked about but she also when she got that second wind of her second career there was a time that nobody would work with her nobody wanted to touch her she was 45 I think nobody nobody could see a place for her in, in the entertainment business It <laughs> was a real now, Yeah, it? it was a real comeback trail <laughs> Yeah, and she ended up at the age of 45, 50 filling stadiums I think in, in um, Rio she had like I think it was 185,000 or something in the audience the biggest audience of all time yeah and she just to have that energy and to come from where she came from she said she was from a cotton field like she had her parents kind of abandoned her she's so articulate and she's such a nice sort of genuine person but there was a real sense in this documentary that she it was kind of like a, a goodbye from her like she has mm. obviously withdrawn from um, public life from performing there's a musical out about her and there's a real sense of like we won't kind of be seeing Tina again mm. you know uh, which I thought it was it was quite sad to see that aspect of it but just her spirit and how articulate she was in, in talking about her life and how she just wanted to keep performing and you know be excellent the whole time when maybe another person would just go 
you know, play the victim on it. And I just think it's, uh, I just think it's an incredible, incredible story and an incredibly un- uplifting story. And everybody should check it out. Excellent. Well, I'm going to do exactly that. I know she'd been very ill in recent times too. Yeah. And, um, you know, she's come through that. Yeah, and she's and like, she's, she's in, she's in the film. Yeah. She's, she's, yeah. And it shows where she's living and her lovely husband that she has now. Mm. Um, and it's a real kind of, it runs the gamut from the very, very start of her life up until this kind of swan song that she's uh, giving with the musical about her life. But it's just, you're just glad for her that she's found contentment, you know, and she kind of made a conscious decision that she wasn't going to perform anymore. Now, she had previously said, oh, I'm retiring, I'm retiring, but she didn't. But there must, I don't think she'd ever want to be on stage like as Tina singing a ballad on a stool, mm. <laughs> you know, uh, but like the to be a woman in her 50s like with her legs and her short skirts out and really like owning the stage the way she did it was absolutely uh, revolutionary at the time because the music business wasn't giving her a chance and it was England that gave her the chance because that's where she got um, you know the, that's right, the yeah. resurgence of her popularity yeah. and then she conquered the world yeah incredible so I don't know stuff. if anyone's if you've seen it let me know uh, what you think of it remind us of the title and where it's found it's called Tina and it's on Sky Documentaries Maria thank you for that Welcome. Thank you.